This pretty good coverage is brought to you by PowerGrip, the official retail partner of the European Pro Tour. Hello everybody, welcome back to the final round and we have a spicy one for you. We are commentating out of Germany, Bremen. I am Jason, next to me is Jan Bess. Hello. And we have three people tied in first base spot. First, Daniel Davidson with minus 13, winner of last year's Copenhagen Open, sponsored by Discmania. Second, we have Samuel Hanninen. Also minus 13, last year he played this tournament and ended up on 12th spot. So a lot of ambition coming into the final round, front nine, which you are enjoying with us. Third, Maury Willmann, if you watched the second round with us, you saw his performance, how he made it to the top. And he is probably just sponsored and this is the time. youngster, Hjama Fredriksen. He won it all, like Junior 15, Junior 18. He won the Stockholm Open last year in the Pro Division. And he's joining us here on the lead card, just two strokes behind those guys. Yes, uh, we are all rooting for the young player in the group, but we are rooting for everybody anyways to perform as best as they can. But it's always nice to see a player who is only, I believe, 16 years old at this 16 point. 16 years. And There's been songs about this age. Playing the European Tour and competing in the final round in the leading card. That is just amazing. Here we have hole one. We saw it a few times already this tournament. 175 meters, a left curve all the way. You got to keep it right because there's a man though that you have to miss and you have to keep it low because otherwise you hit the branches. There is OB on the right side behind the basket. You see it with the white flags. First shot is most important to keep it short, uh, low and keep it straight. Uh, often left ends and then the upshot is all you need for a birdie. First on the tee, Daniel Davidson opening up the dance floor. Oh yeah, that looks good. Miss these trees, fly past them. Ah, I've seen that before, that he likes to hit these uh, tulpen. Yes, the flowers. Ooh. And he is playing a different hole. I think he wanted it to fade earlier. Slightly differently. But Samuel that doesn't look too him. bad. He gets a forehand approach. Well, out of there. And, and a birdie chance, definitely. I think he's a little long. I think so too, but Maori is not. He gets the skip that everybody desires, and I don't think it gets much better than that. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the same position he was yesterday. And now... Hjalmar going with the left-hand backhand. That might be a lefty. I sure hope he is a lefty, otherwise that was a trick shot. <laughs> <laughs> but a flippy disc left hand around the corner. He is pretty much in the middle of the fairway. Probably not first up with his approach. And what we see apart from the flowers is that the weather is getting better and the people are coming out there. There is a huge crowd. Yes. That's so good to see. I mean, it's the beginning of May. There's a good big scoreboard for everybody to see. I love it. That is professional. See the quiet sign and we love that he missed that tree and he's on the green, on the green. ready for his birdie that is only like four or five meters at most daniel with his signature hat he wants it to yeah. slow down he knows how much it can skip because of the Good very shot. very skippable grounds here and there is ob behind but that's also just right next to the basket maori with the forehand yep very and nice. He got a hard break, but there's less wind today. There's a little sun. I mean, if they, if they wanna, if they wanna end up. End and up. we Good love to place. see that. What a birdie! What an opening to the final roll for Samuel. He says, "I will not be shaken off <laughs> that easily." I like big putts, and I cannot lie. Come on, Samuel, do it again for us. And that is just a 
dream. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he's stoked for sure. And so am I. And that's a good start. That's the best start. That's and a movies. really good start. Putting some pressure on the card. If you yes. Want, oh. If you want birdie, you have to make the putt. And this was actually the easier putt. And, and I am so good. glad he stayed safe. Did he hit the flag? I it think. sounded like he hit the flag. No problem for Hjalma. Taps in his birdie, double lefty. And that's a par for Maori. Yeah. There are um, evil tongues that, that say that young people can really play so well because they haven't played bad. Because every year they grow and grow and play better and learn more and they just like get into their dream life and wow, we're playing and we're playing and it's all great. And the first victory, and then the second victory and then they feel unbeatable. It's crazy. So, um, why am I telling you this? Because this is all true and everything crazy can happen here. It is what can go wrong segment on hole two as every round. We hope as always nothing goes wrong. We have the left turn. A lot of players go high with a forehand and try to land somewhere within these small planted trees. And that's the thumbs up. During the preview of the hole, the path behind is out of bounds. That's right, but it never came into play yet. Until now, not a single player in the tournament, that's a lie, but from our coverage has ended up in the out of bounds. And I speak of forehands and I be disproven by Daniel Davidson almost every hole. That's very safe. That's very safe. I think he didn't want it to be over there that far, but maybe he wanted. I mean, it's just a higher approach with the second shot. And some were going for the same hmm. safe route. Perhaps they... Maybe there's something. A special little surprise on the other side of the fairway. But Hjalma will not be impressed. And he's happy as a lefty to play this hole with backhand. And that is what I'm power. talking about. Yeah. Just right past those freshly planted trees. Nothing in between even passes them. That's a really good shot. Yes, and now Samuel who really, really plays a lot of forehand and has a really good forehand. But that's Maui, just to make sure that we are on the same Oh, of course, here. yes. I misspoke that. And that's where he lands probably every round. Yeah. That's where so, I saw him last round as well. So he will know exactly what to do. But mm. Samuel first. That's going to hit the tree. Yeah. And that will be a tough run for birdie or a layup for par not challenging the OB in the back. Daniel in an equal position and we oh see his reaction and oh, really his reaction good. was underwhelming at least. Okay, upshot from Hjalma. Yeah, yeah. That is good. Secure the birdie. Play it smart. It's always good in the beginning of the round not to make too many positions where you have to really make the big putts and just, yeah, that, that's, that's a good start to get into the game. Oh, running it for eagle. Of course. I mean, when not now, when? This is the final round of the Copenhagen Open, the first leg of the European Pro Tour, and we're so glad that the weather has become better even joggers are out there and as we can see in Denmark people are more white on the legs and on the arms but now the sun's out and the birdies the birdies come this course is really all about smart play and I mean we talked about it in our coverage of round one with Daniel Davidson and we talked about his conservative play style very safe very straight a lot of layups but here he is final round yeah for the lead and uh, that just shows that a smart play on a, on a technical course like this is everything that a disc golfer needs in the bag yeah, well. that gets us to hole number three very technical 95 meters only not a power shot but a tight green bushes to the yeah. right bushes to the left a guardian tree it's very unlikely that you have just an easy putt for birdie here because there's so much in between 
you and the target. But it's one of the shorter holes and you want to catch the birdie here because... Oh, ooh, la, la, that nearly skipped in. I love it. That would have been a statement. He's already in the lead and then ace hole three. And oh, ah, it oh, came back out. That's good. You have a straddle putt for birdie from there. And Maori forehand. That looks a little bit high. Uh, actually, it does not. But he's just a right. Short. A little short. Right next no. to Hjalma. That's going to be a putting contest. And this is Samuel taking a wider route. Come on, come back in. Oh, there I don't. There will be a putt. There will be a I putt. don't see the basket. I mean, it's right there. He's that close. Those bushes are Magic thick. scuba. Magic scuba. Let's open a new segment <laughs> on hole number three. But first we see Circle's edge putt and it's no problem for Mari for his birdie. That's what you have to make. Yama, did he get big putted or did he not? First we have their slow motion replay. Beautiful. That Beautiful. is just, yes, top right corner. Thank you for giving us these beautiful pictures. Yama does not allow yeah. any bad luck. I think he's just saying there like, okay, I have to make this in and boom. Perfect. Samuel did not have a gap, I believe. He just had to like no. kind of toss it. <gasps> oh, yeah. Daniel Davidson. Okay. Drops down and giving Mari the solo lead on this card. But it's well, only hole three. They're still, they're still even. They're still even. But we have minus 14, minus 14. Ah, of course. That was 15, a par. That was a par. Which is uh, a tight race. And what else it's, can you wish for for a last round of... It is as tight as it gets. As an opening for the European Tour. Yes. So secure your seats. Yeah, thank you for the partners here, NBDG and Prodigy, sponsoring this really, really great tournament hosted by Sinus Frank. And this is hole number four. The path on the left hand side is OB. That's why people tend to be very tied to the trees here with their uh, first shot. And I think we will see just the same. I believe we will see at least two forehands. Obviously, Yalma as lefty will play his backhand because that's just the flex shot that he can get really far. I hope for a roller from Daniel, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Because I just believe that he is capable of doing such a thing. That would be awesome. Yeah, the, the wind is less and... The weather is nice and Yalma going for exactly that. But it's Lefty backhand. It's no, pretty short. Safe. Oh no, that is this, right between those two trees. That is the sweet spot. That is the sweet spot. Nothing in between you and the target. And he has lots of spin, as you can see, as, as uh, how the disc glides over the lawn. And big skip and roll down, lucky. roll down, roll down. Come down here. Oh, I think that was a bad luck kick. Yeah. And is this going to be the roller or is it not? It doesn't look like a setup for a roller. It is a roller. This is a very understable disc. That might roll even too much. That was. And here's my pro tip for you, Daniel. I think if you use a less understable disc, you can roll further. But I mean, understable discs tend to curl in faster to the right on a backhand roller. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And there is OB on the left, so it is understandable. But come on, this is a result you can work with better. I'm um, not sure if that is the truth. Okay, well. We will see. Hit the bushes. As the whole advantage. But first, Maori 
with his unlucky kick, I believe, but he has a right opening. He does not, and he yeah. will need to set up for par. This takes the pressure off taking the birdie because that's out of the question now. And that's a very smooth delivery with the sidearm. The green is just so fast. Yeah. You can always take plus 10 meters on every landing position. And there's so many stumps and roots and everything. That just kick you in every single direction. That's true. And now we are talking about this sweet spot. A righty forehand from Hjalma. I don't even know what's going on. But that, that circle's edge. Yeah. But that's, yeah, it's really interesting to see Hjalma play because uh, he, he has some different shots in the back. I believe he just he's both handed and right handed, left handed, forward, backhand. Yeah. All of it. And please join the family here. You can support this program that you're seeing. The tour has seven legs and then the big final in Spain and MDG is covering it all. You can support this production by becoming a patron. And you can support Hyama by voting for a big putt right now. And we are... That is incredible. What a pistol putt. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oops. And that's the instant replay. I love it even more. Yes. That didn't even shake in slow motion like this. That is so great. I mean, there's all the audience there and they're performing well. That's how you want to see disc golf. And he's just 4 for 4 I mean... Yeah. What do you mean? I mean, it? Daniel does not let himself be too impressed by that because he also does take back the lead with minus 16. Yeah, but when you compare the putting styles, like the the youthful power shot from Hjalmar and Daniel just like kind of oh, lopping it in there. Well, I would never shame a disc golfer for his putting style. Playing in the final round on the front. Yeah, okay. No, I will not. But it, it was obvious. Come on. It was. That's true. And for those guys or and gals out there, here's the pro tip from us how you can better your putting. Don't putt to the basket, but putt through the basket because the basket is there to catch the disc. And if you just make it to the basket, it's likely that you putt too short. And putting short here is not an option because this is the island hole, Jason. That are some grand master level tips. Thank you, sir. From my co-commentator here. We have an island hold on hole five. It's only 93 meters, but the OB, as you can see, is right where it goes downhill after the basket. So that's only a few meters. There is a path in front, which makes skips even more scary. Yeah, and, and the fast. drop zone is a definite death putt. We will see many forehands. Obviously, Hjalma will surprise us whether which hand he uses at all first of all but it's going to be a lefty backhand <laughs> and i am invested in this kid's career already and please stay short oh yeah there is a little lump that kind of protects you from yeah. just like slipping into the ob the mud wall the, the, the mud wall as professionals do call it uh but oof, it's still scary to, yeah, if you could just slide over that mm. Daniel, not too happy with it. I think, but that's all right. It's a death putt with head backwind. Eight meters. Eight meters. But first, we see Maori. Well, he has to make this. If you want to stay on top, you gotta make these circle ones. Yes, parts. you have to land on the island. That looks good to me. And that is dangerous, but it has. I think he wanted it. He wanted it. You mean he wanted the ace? He wanted the ace. Oh yeah. wow, that is unhinged. Yeah. Ooh, a many circles edge putts on this hole in the leading card. Let's see if we have some drainers. We've seen some big putts so far, but I'm here for more. I am more York. disc golf actually. More big putts. Let's go guys. Please us. Oh, it fades a little bit too early, but that's the OB on the right side. You want to avoid it. 
big chance for Hyama. And oh, it, um, I thought it would drop back in after hitting the rim, but it doesn't. And another circle two putt. Samuel Heninen oh, misses man. to the right. They are missing on the far side of the out of bounds. It is the mental game. We know it. And Daniel ready to separate himself with two strokes. Oh, it doesn't catch the chains properly. That is unfortunate. That's tough, yeah. And Samuel, we need this par save. And we Ooh. do not get it. Yeah, that's tough. That is tough. It's tough. That's true. And somehow the energy of the group is just like getting puffed. We need some cheerleaders in the crowd. Yeah. Between hole five and six. Just walk it off. And Samuel, now it's your turn. Uh, Maui. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just switching up those names all the time. Maori takes the par. Yeah, par's king. And Shama, that's going to be a tap in. Yeah. I have 100% confidence. <clears throat> yes. So after this rather, um, let's make it dry, dry hole, uh, we have another short hole coming up. And we are entering the woods. Hole number six, the easiest hole on the course. Most birdies, least bogeys. It's a continuous right curve. You want to throw an understable putter or even a stable putter or mid range as a forehand. And as long as you sneak past the trees, you are on the green. You have a pretty clear putt for birdie. And you want to you want to commit to the turn. We you saw many people commit. not commit to the turn and fade left early. Now look at that. Which but hand has he taken? The left one. Okay, good. He's like a two-handed pitcher on baseball. Never know where the spin is coming from. But that was the left tree, the triple tree, that is being severely hit on this tournament, I believe. <laughs> yeah. That that's the forehand approach that we were talking about. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. That's Come just on, gonna take be break. right. Yeah, hit the brakes. That's a five meter part, five six meters. We hope that little skinny tree is not gonna obstruct too much. That's the backhand putter. Yeah, good spin on it. Didn't quite commit to the turnover, but it doesn't matter. It does actually because mm. the ten meters after landing are also in the wooded areas. The screens are just too fast. That's a good curve. Oh, and that is what we talk about. Exactly. Seriously, seriously. Little nose down and like just not let it slide too far. That's cocky. He doesn't even look like he, he throws it and then he takes the mini and yeah, okay, it's gonna be there somewhere. Oh. Ooh. Still putting. And that's a par. At the par, yes. And well, now, they're competing for points and for money and for fame. Yes, and Shana only a teenager now needing to secure his par. I mean, the pressure just has to be high. Yeah, it just has to be with all the people be. watching. Yeah, this would increase. Knowing that all of you guys will support this channel. If he makes this putt. And he made it. And he made it. Okay, Daniel. This is a big one. And leans in for the straddle. And if we talk about color, like we have two red shirts. Red meaning, I want it. I want it. What's wrong? That is the sound you probably never want to hear unless you hear it all the way from the tee off. Samuel taps in his birdie after the approach, which is the vision of this entire hole. This is strange. I mean, this is the lead card has only one solo birdie on this. 
Ja. <laughs> yeah, we took a break here with Power Grip and a really nice store you should visit following the bowling area, the bowling alley. 68 meters, this is the shortest hole, but it's not the easiest because you have to shoot straight and that's uh, something that's not always easy. That is true and we call it the bowling area not only because it's straight as an alley but because also you can just lower your disc onto the ground. It is so clean, it is so fast, it just slide in all the way to the basket, avoid air time, avoid fade, avoid turn and you avoid the trees. Avoid but that trees. is a tight alley and that is the dream. If it avoids the trees it does oh, yeah. and it just slides all the way onto the green. That's a statement. It is. Very nice phone. And now Hjalmar with his right forehand. He really prefers that for approaches. But they don't prefer this hole. But he's in the center of the fairway. That's going to be a layup. Probably with his right forehand again. Yeah. If I have read his game book by now properly. That's good. Davidson. Stop. That is just... Textbook. Yeah, but, uh, yeah uh, uh, this part is not in yet. You mean you're having doubts already? I'm having doubts about Daniel's putting performance today. <gasps> that is a kick which doesn't result in the worst ending, I believe. Yeah. So, Hjalmar first. Yeah. And he goes, oh, that's close enough for just a little jump putt. He just lays it up. Mm. He doesn't look at it again, but he knows he's going to drain that putt. Yeah. For par, yeah. He has no worries. Don't worry. Okay. Segment, what could go wrong? <laughs> Presenting. Presenting. Yama with, with the par putt. Oh, no. Hey, this is strange. This is so strange. I mean, as soon as we expect something, it's just going to happen. It looked also confident. No, we haven't seen this footage before. It's, we're here with you and uh, yeah. We have not seen this footage. No, this is a live reaction from us. We are so sorry if you feel like we're jinxing the players in advance. Shalma, oh, take bad. the bogey, go to the next hole, walk it off. Yeah. But you know what? I think the mistake was his layup shot before. Because it was an in-betweener. It was neither a layup nor, nor a go for it. And then you could have been closer to the basket and you didn't. And now this is a red flag for the red shirt. Too it bad. is true. It happens to the best players in the world. Yeah. Daniel. Maybe he needs a snack. I mean, he started with four birdies, then two pars, and now a bogey. And Daniel at least with the, the birdie training. Birdie. Game. We love to see it. And that's a par mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. Maori, Maori and Daniel, bogey free, advancing to hole number eight. The par four. It's a, there's a, there's, we've seen really nice shots yesterday and it's possible to, to eagle this hole with two magnificent shots, but it's also easy to make a bogey here because there are trees in the way and you have to get past them first before you can enter this beautiful bowl of putt. That is for sure. I really, really like the hole. I like the design. I mean, you just came through a lot of wooded uh, holes and now you play from the woods into the open valley. And after that, you start back out on the field. It really uh, feels like you're progressing through the course and not just having would a course and not would a co uh, course as separate entities and that is going through and that's going to be a mm, great a bit, opportunity yeah, to approach. yeah 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 so in case you wonder why they're not shortcutting it somehow there is a mando you have to play it just the way it's meant to be and i love rollers i love rollers and that's why i love watching daniel and he's in a great position we hope that tree on the left of his run-up doesn't obstruct his approach. But Maori with his forehand, which we see. 
a lot comes right around the corner. That's okay. And as long I, as you have a stance. Uh, yes. Yeah. He feels comfortable there. Yalma, surprise us. Which hand are you choosing? The lefty hand, of course. Is that too high? No. Oh. Oh, yes. Well, I think it was too far and not too high, actually. No. And his approach going through the gap into circle two, rolling down the hill. That's going to be a chance for birdie if he runs it. Yeah. Definitely made the best will. out of that first kick. Yeah, it's a fair position from the basket because it's on a slight hill. So you can actually go for it. There's a possibility to roll. But, okay, we have a really nice shot. Really nice shot for Maui. Very touchy. And Samuel's approach is on the green, five meters away. Lovely. Daniel's approach, forehand, he was so far up the fairway, I can't nice. believe it. And he's right next to the basket. Now, Hjalma, show us what you're made of. That's a 12, 13 meter putt. And it's to the right. Yeah. Only slightly, but he ran it. I like it. That's... The spirit we need in this group right now. Reputting for Still par. a long putt. Oh, but he makes it. He just shoves it in like an asteroid, <laughs> smashing <laughs> through the atmosphere. There you go. Maori with Sneaking the Sneaking up, Maori. Round score minus three now, and still no bogey. That gives him the old distance to Hjalma, at least. And Samuel takes the birdie, no problem. Also on minus 16. Oh, that is such a nice tight race. Daniel Davidson tapping in his birdie after the greatest drive on this hole for two-stroke lead. Going into the final hole of the front nine of the final round, the first tournament of the European Tour. The Pro Tour. And we're here. This is, um, yeah, the easiest way is to avoid these two trees where these people are passing with a nice flex shot if you are a righty. So high as a flip and let the disc do the talking. If possible, it should land right there where the camera is right now to give you the option for a good putt. And why not now? That's for sure. We see the backhand on Samuel. We wanted to flip just up straight so you miss the trees and then fade in. That's the guardian tree yeah. that you want to miss, but many people hit it. It's a little short, but hey, you're out there on the green and giving opportunity for a big putt. And that is pretty low. And it's Short. A little bit too low. It didn't manage to skip. Now Maori's up afterwards. Yama, I predict a lefty backhand actually, similar to hole one, if you remember. Yeah, but that is my prediction Maori segment. First, throwing right past That's the trees. Lovely. That's lovely. That's on course. Ooh. <gasps> okay, still has to putt. You still have to putt. And that is Ooh. what I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, it's not door. similar to whole one. It's the back door. Oh, love it. Wow. Too much, power. Too much power. Circle's Just edge. Just outside the circle. We've seen this little fluffy thing there in the ground. The brush. <gasps> Sailing by. The shadow was in, but hey, it doesn't count. I mean, Daniel has all the right to lay up. He's two strokes ahead. It's the middle of the round. That was unintentional, definitely. I mean, we all saw the reaction. Yeah, but if he sticks with it and not just like suddenly thinking... Whoa, what a birdie! From the bushes! Maori, that was a big, big 
big game changer. <clears throat> and even taking the branches as a ceiling, advising the disc downwards into the basket. Yeah, that will give him a boost for, for the sure. back nine. For sure. Make the putt, take the par. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as we are coming to an end of the front nine, I hope to see and hear everybody back on the back nine. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to come back because we will be there. We, we want to watch this. This is so tight. It's beautiful. Yeah. These are the stats and the standings. This is going to be such a tight finale. I mean, you just got it. Why are you still here? Just go on to the next video already. Yeah. We're waiting there for you. Why are you here? Come on, Come let's on. watch the back nine together. It's going to be so much fun. Back nine. Final round. Let's go. See you there.